FSB, this is Eyewitness News Nightbeat. Good evening, everyone. I'm Greg Corey. Destructive fires making news in two of Connecticut's major cities. First, in Hartford. A neighborhood bands together to save at least six lives today. A fast-moving fire on Adams Street in Hartford gutted a three-story home. Five residents have been taken to St. Francis Hospital, but it could have been much, much worse. Channel 3's Tracy Martinez has the story. It's a long drop from this third-floor apartment, but the family living here was desperate to escape a fast-moving fire. It was just a sight. <laughs> just never seen anything like it. People jumping out the windows. People were landing on bricks and glass, everything. They, were just, they had no choice. There were at least eight people, including children, inside. Three people escaped on their own. One had to be rescued. The other four, including a five-month-old baby, were trapped. Fortunately, neighbors lent helping hands, or specifically, helping arms, trying to catch the jumpers. What I did, just tried to break her fall, basically prevent her from getting, you know, the worst of it, you know. So when she jumped and I tried to caught her, we both went down. The baby had to be thrown from the window. They put their arms out. One caught the baby up in the air with his hands like this. But for the Patterson family, this tragedy comes on the heels of another, much more public family ordeal. Earlier this year, Garfield Patterson allegedly shot and killed a Hartford postman. His two sisters and his 51-year-old mother barely escaped with their lives from this fire. Neighbor Winnie Jackson feels for the elder Patterson. I can tell you how much she's grieving right now with what happened to her son and now it's sad, very sad. The fire started on the second floor, but firefighters don't yet know what caused the blaze. In Hartford, Tracy Martinez, Channel 3 Eyewitness News, Nightbeat. Four of the residents are in satisfactory condition. A fifth victim, Rupert Ennis, has been listed in serious condition with chest injuries. Firefighters busy in New Haven this morning battling a suspicious three-alarm blaze. Fortunately, they put out the flames quickly. But the search for a cause is taking a bit longer. Channel 3's Hillary Strauss has more. It was barely dawn when huge flames and dark smoke clouds filled the sky near New Haven's Long Wharf section. Three alarms brought 50 firefighters out to battle the warehouse blaze. By early afternoon, they were replaced by arson investigators who were gingerly sifting through the rubble looking for a cause. The part of the building that you want to look at is right now it's under, under the roof. And the roof is on the floor, so we have to get some equipment in to move some uh, debris, structural members out of the way so that we can look and make a determination. As for possible vandalism, the building's owner says he really doesn't have much of a problem here. That's partially because the only roadway in and out goes right by the police station. That's one of the reasons we were so happy with the property. There's only one way in. We're around the corner from the police department. So we, we essentially never have any problem with vandals or anything like that. The building housed Jettelson's business called Modern Food Equipment and another business, Alfresco Landscape Design. That owner was too upset to speak with us after talking to police. Too upset because he lost everything. Even his pickup truck, which was parked inside. Upsetting? Obviously. But on the bright side... Nobody got hurt. It's only money. How much money? He doesn't yet know. But that's not the question in dire need of an answer. What's foremost on everyone's mind is just how did this fire begin? In New Haven, Hillary Strauss, Channel 3 Eyewitness News, Nightbeat.